My family, please kindly allow me to remind you what happened years ago. Years ago, when Harry and Meghan did a road tour of Fiji. My family, please kindly look at this, please. Look at the crowds. Look at the crowds. Look at the crowds. My family, people were waiting for hours to try and catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. People waited for hours to try and catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. And my family, years later, when Harry and Meghan, who you've seen, going to Colombia, Nigeria, we are still seeing enormous crowds waiting to catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. That's what we are able to see. And my family, all this is happening when other senior members of the royal family back in the UK are not doing anything. They're out of the public limelight. Remember that one of the many reasons as to why UK media bully and abuse Harry and Meghan is because they want to somehow, you know, find a way to kick out Harry and Meghan from public view. To scare Harry and Meghan from even going out or leaving their homes. You know, that's what UK media have been trying to do. That's one of the things that they've tried to do for my family a very long time. But the problem is, the senior members of the royal family back in the UK, UK media thought that they would step up. They still think that maybe, just maybe, William, Kate, Charles, and Camilla may just step up. But time and time again, UK media continue to be disappointed. And now we are seeing them craving, craving for Prince Harry to come back to the royal fold. Harry has not expressed any intentions from his own words. He has not expressed any intentions to return to the royal fold. However, UK media have come up with nameless and faceless sources who are saying that somehow Harry wants to come back. My family, number one, there are no sources who leak and brief against Harry and Meghan. Let's all be very clear on that. Where were these sources when Prince Harry came to the UK in secret to attend the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows? Apparently, these so-called old friends of Prince Harry or sources close to Prince Harry did not speak or brief UK media. And then after Harry leaves, all of a sudden, UK media wanted to believe that, you know, now sources close to Prince Harry are briefing them. <laughs> My family, it's a lie. It's a lie. But then why am I talking about this today? Why did I even show you that video? At the beginning of this video of crowds lining up years ago just to cheer and catch a glimpse of Harry Meghan. The reason why I showed you this is to remind you, number one, of the warning that Prince Harry gave to Meghan when he could see how the public was so in love with Meghan. When as a husband who was proud to see people falling deeply in love with his wife just like he had Harry gave Meghan a warning and allow me to remind you of that warning and I quote you are doing too well my love too well you're making it look so easy and this is how everything started with my mother maybe I sounded mad paranoid but everyone knew 
the mommy situation went from bad to worse when she showed the world, showed the family that she was better at touring, better at connecting with people, better at being royal than she had any right to be. That was when things really took a turn. My family, years ago, when we could see those crowds lining up for Harry Meghan, you know, when Harry Meghan was back in the road fold and they were doing road tours, I remember reading articles whereby Prince William was being somehow consoled by palace courtiers and his friends who are telling Prince William who felt so, so bad watching Harry Meghan get so, so much, you know, crowds lining up just to catch a glimpse of Harry Meghan. William felt so bad, so jealous, so full of envy towards Harry Meghan. And he was being told by senior palace courtiers, William, don't worry. Don't worry. Harry's influence will fade while yours, yours, William, will grow brighter and brighter and brighter. That's what William was being told. He was being told that don't worry, William, Harry's star power will fade while yours, yours, William, will grow. You are the heir, so don't worry. Don't worry, William. Meanwhile, the palace, meaning Keston Palace, Prince William's courtiers were leaking and briefing negative stories targeting Meghan. And now, even Carnival of so-called experts like Robert Jobson have confessed, like Robert Jobson have confessed that my family, Kesto Palace, did an awful lot of leaking against both Harry and Meghan, especially against Meghan, because it's her who they wanted out of Harry's life. It's her, it's Meghan who they wanted out of the royal family. It is Meghan who they still want out of Harry's life because as I've always told you, for as long as Harry and Meghan are together, which I'm hoping is forever, my family, the star power will keep on growing. No matter what UK Media say, even the fact that UK Media are super, super obsessed, fixated on Harry and Meghan, my family, that tells you, no matter how many times they try to convince themselves all their readers, all their viewers that Harry and Meghan are irrelevant, their actions, the actions of the media just don't add up. Because how do you claim that Harry and Meghan are relevant, yet you cannot stop obsessing over them? GP News, my family, you know, I went through their homepage. The content, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan. Hate accounts, they targeted, they target Harry and Meghan. The content, not William and Kim Moulton. Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan. While telling you, oh, you know, Harry is relevant. You know, Harry is someone who is unpopular. Harry is, uh, you know, is uh, irrelevant. My family, their actions don't add up. Because you don't spend 24 hours a day obsessing over someone who is my family relevant you just don't you just don't but you can media do dan wooten who claims to be william and kate's town supporter my family i have looked at his content my family harry megan harry megan harry megan harry megan harry megan constantly while saying Harry and Meghan are irrelevant. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I want to understand. I want to really, really understand. And my family, I also want you to take note of this. My family, two weeks ago, roughly more than two weeks ago or so, we saw the story that Prince Harry will not be attending the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows, due to safety concerns. And we are told 
This story comes from sources close to Prince Harry. And then, my family, Harry was attacked and bashed by the media. And then, my family, <laughs> a couple of days ago, we then found out that Harry indeed was there. That he attended the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows, in secret. And UK Media had no idea about that. And also, don't forget, UK Media never ever asked if William would attend the funeral of his late uncle. They never asked that question. Never. Never. They never cared to ask. If they had known Harry was coming, that Harry would be at this chat service, I can promise you one thing. You'd have 20 photographers waiting outside or a hundred of them waiting outside to try and catch a glimpse of Prince Harry. Even right now, they've been asking anyone who may have seen Harry in the UK to please send them a photograph of Prince Harry. <laughs> They're asking for a photograph of Prince Harry. Even right now as we speak. And they're willing to pay so much money for that photograph. My family, they aren't asking about William, who apparently, my family, they say was there. They say was there, my family. They aren't asking about Prince William. And my family, you know, when William sees stuff like that, that people, even UK media, are only interested if Harry will be there. How do you think that that makes him feel? It makes him feel jealous of Prince Harry. It makes him feel bitter. Because years later, after Harry and Meghan fled the UK, it is still Harry who ends up on the front pages. Years later, it is still Prince Harry who, my family, UK media, the public, seem way, way more interested in knowing uh, details about. They clearly aren't interested in knowing anything about Prince William. That's very clear. And how do you think that makes Prince William feel? It makes him angry. It makes him pissed off. It makes him in candy with rage. It makes him jealous of Prince Harry. And my family, UK media, are trying to reassure Prince William. And actually, that's the reason why I even made this video. They're trying to reassure Prince William. William, William, don't worry. You are the one who's popular. William, you are the heir. You are the one who's popular. You are more popular than Prince Harry himself, William. Don't worry, don't worry. Harry, you know, William, the public love you. That is what UK Media are trying to reassure Prince William. Just like what happened years ago. When William would see the crowds, people climbing trees, just to try and catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan. Harry himself said that my family, members of the royal family are jealous when they see stuff like that. And a newcomer is the one who's getting all the spotlight. Receiving all the attention and yet she or they are not blood royals. Those who are born into the royal family. Remember what was said by this carnival of so-called expert, you know, that I posted to all of you a while back. I, I, I remember the words that were said. I just don't remember the person who said it in my family. And this person said that unless you are a blood-born uh, royal, my family, whereby you are born into the royal family. You are viewed as being, you know, my family, you know, expendable. Unless you are a blood-born royal, you are viewed as expendable. Meaning, the women who marry into the royal family are viewed as expendable. But the ones who are blood royals, those who are born to the royal family, Prince Harry, for example, they are not really viewed as expendable. And no wonder you're, you're, you keep on seeing how UK media are desperate to get Harry back. And that if he doesn't want to come back willingly, they want to force him back. 
Because my family, blood-born royals, UK media, don't view them as being expendable. But the wives are viewed as expendable. And that's why you don't hear them saying, you know, Megan will come back. My family, Megan even, our own action show, she clearly has no intentions of coming back. Harry also himself has never said he wants to come back into the raw fold. Harry has never ever said that. If anyone has evidence of Harry saying, I want to come back to the raw fold, please kindly share it. Otherwise, all these so-called palace sources, friends of Prince Harry, you know, sources of Prince Harry, all those are just lying. They are just lying. My family, there I said it, they're lying to you and they're lying over and over again. Because Prince Harry fooled them when he came over to attend the funeral of his late uncle and Yuki Media are trying to regain control over the narrative. They're trying to continue lying to the readers that somehow Harry's old friends speak to Yuki Media. No friend of Prince Harry can ever speak to Daily Mail. A tablet that Harry is suing. No friend of Prince Harry will go around to the Sun tablet to speak to them. A tablet that Harry is suing. And also don't forget this. Harry is still suing UK Media. If he ever had any kind of intentions of going back to the fold, then my family, don't you think, number one, he'd drop all his cases against Daily Mail, the Sun. Harry has not dropped any of those cases he hasn't he has not dropped them my family you know even my family recently himself my family harry said that uk media had pushed him to his limits but they are the ones who somehow want to claim that somehow harry's friends are briefing uk media are briefing the tabloids <laughs> my family a bunch of uh nonsense but my family, basically, as I've said years ago, William was being told. Was being told, William, don't worry. Harry and Meghan's influence will go down. While yours will grow. That's what William was being told by palace courtiers. And my family, they were attacking Meghan, hoping that she'd leave. That way things go back to Harry following William around. Harry following William and Kate around my family. Harry being the third wheel, following William and Kate around. Having no family of his own. Having no future, rather than just be content with cutting ribbons all his life and do nothing. But don't worry, you'll be in the royal family. As UK Media say. Don't worry, Harry. Harry, if you come back, you'll cut ribbons. But don't worry, Harry. You, you, you know, you'll get used to it and, um, you know, things will be better for you if you're back here. My family, I do have to ask this question. If you're being bullied 24 hours a day for years now, which has been happening to Harry Meghan all these years, and the bullies who bully you are telling you, Harry, 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 life here in the road fold is perfect. Come back, come back. You have a great life here. It's a perfect life here. Do you think in your own honest opinion, just your own opinion. Do you think that life is greater around people who bully you? Around people who want you to want to see you divorced from your wife and uh, to see your kids grow up in a divided home, in a broken home? Do you think that uh, life there is perfect for you? The answer is, life there will not be perfect for Prince Harry. But UK media already know that. They know that very well. They know that very well. They know that very well. And even in my next video, that's what I'm going to discuss. So please watch the next video after this. Watch the next video after this, my family. I'm going to discuss this, uh, this uh, what I am talking about, my family, you know, extensively. You can media know Harry will not be happy back there. They know it. But you can media will get the goose that lays their golden eggs back, which is what they all care about. Exploiting Prince Harry, making Harry perform for them, cut ribbons for them. <laughs> you know, that's what they want to see Prince Harry doing. Cutting ribbons for them. Being the one who they create drama around because the others 
UK media have made them untouchable. They made William. They made Kate untouchable, my family. But on, my, my family, I'll talk about this some other time. And uh, my family, basically, right now, what we are seeing is uh, what happened years ago when courtiers were telling Prince William, William, don't worry. Don't worry, William. Don't worry, William. Harry's star power will wane, but yours will grow brighter, will grow. William, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your star power will shine brighter than Prince Harry. Don't worry. It's only a matter of time. Palace courtiers would tell Prince William. My family, that's what they are telling him right now. Let me explain. The Daily Mail wrote an article claiming that uh, according to polls, <laughs> their polls created by Daily Mail, my family, and uh, YouGov, my family, they are saying that William and Kate are the most popular royals in the royal family. That William and Kate are so, so popular. I mean, let me kindly please read with this, my family. Once again, William is being reassured. William, don't worry. Don't worry, William. You are more popular than Prince Harry. Don't worry. Don't worry, William. My family, when I finish this video, you're going to see that my family, this is one of the reasons as to why Harry and William will never reconcile. William has a fragile ego that he constantly needs to be reassured of things. That you, William, are the one who's popular. My family, hear this yourself, please. They're saying that uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate, remain Britain's most love royals. While disgraced Prince Andrew and Harry and Meghan are least favored by the public, a new poll has apparently revealed and this poll came out it came out right after my family we all learned that uh, harry had been in the uk to attend the funeral of his late uncle <laughs> it came out at right at that moment number one why are they doing polls you know putting harry Meghan's name in there about people who have not been living in the UK for more than four years now. Because Harry and Meghan have been living in Montecito for the past more than four years now. Next year will be their fifth year. And my family still, you're having a UK media doing polls about who's popular. William and William or Prince Harry. Kate or Meghan, who's more popular than the other? Once again, they continue to beat Harry versus William, Kate versus Meghan again. These are the same tabloids who tell you that, of course, we want to see a reconciliation in the royal family between William and Harry. It will be so nice. It will be so nice for as long as UK media refuse to change their business model. For as long as William continues to be jealous of Prince Harry. There is never going to be any kind of healing or mending of any rift between Prince Harry and Prince William. It is not going to happen. Let no one ever tell you something different. It is not going to happen. My family, let me explain some more, please. My family, UK media have shown that they have no interest in Prince William. And my family... This uh, funeral of uh, Harry's late uncle, Robert Fellows, tells you that Turkey Media have shown that they have no interest in Prince William. If they were interested in Prince William, my family, at least they would have photographers camping outside the church service. You know, just to cover William entering the funeral service of his uh, late uncle. But they don't have those cameras there because they don't care. Because they don't care. They don't care one bit. But UK Media, upon finding out that Harry was in the UK, they even sent out photographers, people, spies, to go and track down where Harry could be. Could he be in Norfolk? Could he be staying 
you know, here or there. And the Spencers, they sent out people to go and try and track Prince Harry. They even asked anyone, anyone who could have had a picture of Prince Harry to send them an email. They even got to interview the priest. <laughs> or because Harry was there. Or because Harry was there. Remember, if it was just William attending, they wouldn't care. They clearly have shown they don't care at all. They've shown they don't care at all. Even they talk about, you know, whether or not Harry will attend this uh, funeral of my family. The main question was if, whether or not Harry was coming. That's the main question. And uh, now, my family, after UK media have shown more interest in what Harry is doing, after showing where the interest lies, and that clearly their interest lies in Prince Harry, after showing that, now they have gone back to try to reassure William, 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 you are the one who's popular. Don't worry, William. You are the one who's popular. You are popular than Prince Harry, just like what happened years ago. <laughs> just like what happened years ago. Years ago, when Harry and Meghan were back in the road still William needs to be reassured. William, don't worry. Don't worry, William. You are more popular than Prince Harry. And he needs these fake polls to reassure him. Because UK media have shown him they just don't care. They have shown William that they just don't care about him. That's what UK media have shown Prince William. They don't care about him. And now... They are trying to reassure him with fake polls. William, you are the one who is the most popular royal. UK Media's own actions are proving that William is not the one who is the most popular royal. Their obsession with Prince Harry is what is showing exactly who is the one who is the popular royal. It's Prince Harry. It's Prince Harry. He is the one. Who sells papers? He's the one who gets them clicks. He's the one who gets them engagement. Harry's name, Harry and Meghan's name, both of them, they're the ones who are the most popular royals. They're the ones who everyone wants to hear from or hear about. Everybody wants to hear about Harry and Meghan. My family, everybody. But clearly, they don't want to hear anything about... My family, Prince William. Our Prince William. Even my family, the front page headline. Oh, that Harry wants to come back to the UK. He stole his old friends. It tells you, UK media are desperate. They are desperate to have Harry back. But then, they are trying to imply that it's Prince Harry who's the one who's desperate. He's the one who's yearning to come back. Even though Harry's words, his actions have shown us otherwise. My family. You know, Harry's words, actions have shown us otherwise. My family. And UK media wants Harry back willingly or by force. We're telling you, oh, William, William, you are the one who's popular. You are the one who's uh, the most popular royal. Stop lying to him. Stop lying to William. Stop, de stop deceiving him. Even hate accounts who, you know, claim they support William McKimbleton. Please, stop lying to William and kill the most popular royals. Stop lying to them. Stop deceiving them. Stop deceiving them. They are not. They are not. William and Kim Milton have rarely been seen. Have UK media seem to care? They don't even care. They don't even care. Harry and Meghan not being seen even for three weeks. Three weeks, just, just three weeks, two or three weeks. UK media begin showing their desperation. Harry not allowing UK media to come to Colombia to cover his my family engagements, to follow him and Megan around my family. The UK media are showing how angry they are. You know, you bully someone and then you're angry when they reject you. It doesn't make any sense. But of course, you know, bullies like UK media, always want to control their victims. And when they see that they can't control their victims, they get pissed off, they get angry, they get very much in candy sent with rage. 
And my family, no matter what you give me, they do, they are, they are never going to be able to have any kind of access to her and Megan. The sooner that they understand that, the better. The sooner that you give me, they understand that, the better. They will have no access to Harry and Megan. Never. You know, and they, and no matter how many times they try to force, force access, they're never going to get it. It's been my family, years of them trying, trying to bully Harry and Meghan into somehow forcing Harry and Meghan to invite them into their lives. And time and time again, Harry and Meghan say no to them. You know, and they, my family you need, to, need to accept Harry and Meghan's rejection and just move on. Move on. Stop with these fake polls. Oh, William, you are the one who is popular <laughs> while you came in are asking anyone for if they have pictures of Prince Harry, you know, you know, in the UK to send them a picture of Prince Harry. In exchange, I want to offer a fortune for those pictures. <laughs> the level of desperation, the level of extreme desperation that UK media have, it is just uh, too much. And my family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. Stop trying to convince William he's popular. Clearly, UK media have shown William is not popular, that he is very unpopular. That's what UK media have shown. And the sooner that UK media understand that, the better. My family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what you discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Bertana and Doria Buglen, and all of you members got at home. The more William needs reassurance from the key media, from these fake polls, that he's also popular than Prince Harry, the more you can see there's never going to be a kind of healing or meaning of any rift between Harry and William because William continues to be so, so jealous of Prince Harry. So jealous. If Harry is living in the US and UK media are still obsessed with Prince Harry, imagine if Harry was back in the UK. And William knows he can't compete. He can't compete with Prince Harry. However, what the firm would do if they ever had control of Prince Harry is that they would limit Harry's public appearances. Like what they've done to Prince Andrew, which is what I believe the farm and the community want. They want control over Prince Harry. They do want to control him. Because Harry, being able to do these successful tours to Colombia, Nigeria, is showing that <laughs> my family, they're clearly better at everything. They're better at being, you know, royals than the ones who are taxpayer funded royals in the UK. And my family, that's affecting. You know, senior members of the royal family. That's that's making the media very angry, because royal tours, for example, are a chance for UK media to make a fortune, to make so much money from these royal tours. But whenever they go to Prince Harry, the one who sells papers, and they have confessed, they have gone to Harry's team and asked them if they can cover Harry's uh, tour to Colombia or um, Harry Meghan's tour to, to Nigeria, my family. They've always been told no. If Harry was in the royal fold, Harry can't say no to the royal rota. Even if he was doing a royal tour, my family, UK media will have to accompany him because that's the deal tablets have with the royal family. But now that Harry is free, he can say, I don't want these people anywhere around me or Megan when I'm going to Colombia. And no matter how many times UK media complain, my family... They simply have to respect, you know, Harry's words. My family, right now I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily, Bertana, and Doria. Again, and all of you members of the squad at home. Hate never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever, and may God bless you, my family. And may no open phone against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily, Bert, Diana, ever prosper. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. 
for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.